Oh my gosh, it's been a while. What's going on, you guys? So, as you can tell by the thumbnail, by the title from the intro, we are doing a vlog. Whoa! So, I'm in Boston and I've got a very packed week. Basically, I'm here for work. Um, there's a gaming convention, and so I'll be in town helping at the booth, helping out and stuff. But in addition to that, I'm doing some fun things this week. I looked up a couple of anime stores that I want to check out. Obviously, I'm going to check out the anime booths at the convention. Try to see if I can get my hands on some things. Y'all know me. And then also, I'm going to a Celtics game. Ah, I'm going to a I spontaneously got tickets to the Celtics Nets game too and so we're doing that tonight but before that I need to grab some food I literally just got off the plane I'm exhausted y'all it was the flight of doom okay I thought it was over literally you could ask LT he was texting me the whole flight like you need to breathe <laughs> like but it's crazy anyway I'm gonna try to find some dinner probably also get dressed for the game I was gonna wear this top but the lady next to me had onions and y'all if you use onions or eat onions on a plane and your breath stank you don't taste that you gotta taste it cuz I smell it as soon as you approach me let's go ahead and get to the week and also don't forget to subscribe if you're excited and like the content so let's go I'm going to get some food and like go to a restaurant, but I got this place called the Burger Room instead. Look how many curly fries they gave me. Ah, I'm so excited. I literally obsess over curly fries. And then I got a turkey burger, but it's not opening, so... This was a fail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's just go to the game. <laughs> So what's up you guys? I'm back from the game. It is the end of the night. I'm literally about to like go to sleep. It has been a long, 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 long day. Okay. But actually I wanted to show you guys what I got at the game. I didn't buy anything, but I got a t-shirt for where I was sitting and you saw all the clips and all the footage. It was super dope. Sad face for the Nets to lose. I really thought they were going to type the series 1-1, one one, but the Celtics pulled it out in the end. Mad shout-out to the Celtics, man. First of all, the crowd is crazy insane. They're a little wild for me, but they're crazy insane. And also, number two, it was just a lot of fun. And they have a lot of heart and a lot of tenacity on their roster. So the Celtics are going to be super fun to watch. But anyways, I got a couple of things in my shirt. I got a shirt, I guess. It says Celtics 
Celtic pride, I definitely won't be wearing it. So, you know, if you're a Celtics fan and you want this shirt, leave a comment down below. And then they did this, like, parachute drop, which is so cool. Mind you, I'm, like, five foot, <laughs> six feet tall. And all these people were, like, jumping, trying to get this parachute thing and I grabbed it and I took it and low-key the Celtics fans are kind of mad because I grabbed it and I was we I'm wearing all black I'm having all black all day as y'all saw earlier but they thought oh she's a Nets fan I was like no baby I'm a KD fan and a Dallas Mavericks fan first and foremost so don't get it twisted Period. yeah it's literally just a towel like folks were pressing me about a towel from Xfinity I was like Baby, your little musty towels at home, all you need to do is wash them or go to the dollar store or Target. It was a lot of fun. That is the end of day one. I do not, in all honesty, you guys, expect the rest of the days to be, like, this great. Because, like, today was hella great. Like, it was amazing. Um, just doing some things on my own. But with that being said, good night. I'll see y'all for the rest of the week. And, yeah. So I typically do not opt for walking your girl got asthma But today I decided to walk. It's very cold. It's kind of nice in Boston The weather's perfect for walking, but I'm headed over to the PAX East convention and I'm really excited got my merch on and Yeah, it's gonna be a long work day. So let's go It's very busy at the conference right now. So, water, a little salad coming up. And, you know, Boston has very nice weather. I was convinced that Boston was going to be like crowded and crazy and like just all over the place. But Boston's weather is actually very nice. I'm really also very impressed with PAX because they actually have masks and it's very crowded but this is one of the first conventions i think that required it so shout out to pax for you know keeping people safe but you know masks or no masks are prerogative but my preference to be on my bed Ugh. for today um in all honesty you guys there wasn't much fun uh it was mostly just like working the booth and as you saw like taking pictures with people like i didn't even really get to walk around that much as a whole but overall it wasn't too bad i think everything went mostly positive and I got to see a lot of people. I need to start taking like more pictures with people. Like, hey, let's take a picture together. So that way, like, you know, we can remember these things and cherish these moments. Depending on how the next couple days go, I might not even vlog anything. But if I do do anything fun, like go to this anime shop I'm trying to visit, then I'll definitely vlog it and y'all see it. But if not... This may be the end of the video, so find out soon. <laughs> Hi.
So what's up you guys? This is gonna be a little bit of bonus footage, not long at all. Um, but I caught COVID at the convention that you saw me at. There's like a whole bunch of people who also caught it. So if you haven't like been keeping up on Twitter, I highly recommend you look at it on Twitter. I'm currently changing my sheets. Yeah, I have to stay an extra week in Boston. I am not a fan of Boston, it's too cold. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, this is now day three of me being sick. Day one and two and day zero were a lot worse, but I feel almost fully recovered. I probably won't record like multiple days of this because I am very tired. Um, but I would, I just came on here to say I highly recommend if you do catch this and you're in a different city, try to stay in a Marriott. These, the housekeepers have dropped off two huge bags of like new sheets, new sets of towels, coffee, gloves, water, um, and all the stuff that I need while I'm staying here. I will probably fly out on Friday or Saturday because, um, my urgent care and my doctor said I'll be fine if I break the fever and after five days and it's already been that time period so i would highly recommend you staying at a marriott because they have been very awesome it sucks because i don't want to go downstairs or anything for fear of like getting everybody else sick so i bought cereal which has not helped my stomach the milk is killing me but it's okay so you know i just wanted to come over here and say that like please be careful wear your mask if you are unvaccinated, like, don't go out to places that are strictly for people who are vaccinated. Um, that's really unfair and quite frankly, it's very selfish. You know, be considerate of others. I am taking the experimental medicine, uh, which I think is a huge contributor as to why I don't feel as bad. Yeah, you guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to start getting back into vlogging. Uh, just unfortunately being sick has kind of pushed some things around and pushed some things back. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching and tuning in, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. So, until then, bye!